Hello, Joey66, and I'm coming at you from a, you can't see it, but it's very snowy out here today and crappy weather on this wonderful Saturday morning here in Superior, Nebraska. Uh, I thought I'd bring a little bit of automotive news to you guys today, and this is about the Chevy Camaro. You know, I know I am a uh, Challenger guy, Mopar guy, and all that stuff, but uh, some interesting news about the Chevy Camaro and uh, its possible all-electric future. So GM recently did its um, EV day, which is Electric Vehicle Day, and um, they talked about a couple of new Buick EVs coming out, a bunch of Cadillacs. I think Cadillac may possibly at some point go all EV, all electric cars. Uh, we've all probably heard about the uh, Hummer EV that's going to be coming out, which should be pretty cool. Even if you're not into electric cars, some of the numbers on these things and stats and things are pretty impressive. Now, uh, they also said there will be two new Chevys coming out that will be all electric. And they showed a uh, like a silhouette view of one of them, kind of a hint at what it may look like. And it looks an awful lot like a Camaro. Uh, I'll put the picture up there on the uh, screen there. It's very, very Camaro looking from the profile view. So there's lots of speculation that there's going to be an all electric Camaro and that eventually and possibly very soon the Camaro may go all electric altogether. Now, some of you may know, uh, recently uh, Chevy came out with an eCopo Camaro. It was a one-off electric Copo Camaro. Uh, it had 780 horsepower, 780 feet pounds of torque, and it ran a, a quarter mile in the nine second range. So it was extremely impressive. Um, there are some pictures of it doing a wheelie. I think maybe I'll try to get one of those up there for you, but if not, you can look that up. Um, very impressive car. They only built, I think, one, and then they auctioned it off to somebody uh, or some um, some rich guy likely bought it or whatever. But anyway, they auctioned it off. But uh, it appears that that whole project may not be dead, and they may be doing a, a all electric version or going Camaro all electric all the time. We'll have to see how this goes. But I think this is kind of interesting since the Camaro was reportedly going to be killed off in a couple of years here, and now it may sit and possibly have a second life as an all electric vehicle as our very high performance all electric vehicle. So this could be interesting. I know we got a lot of Camaro guys who watch this. I have some Camaro friends. Uh, Camaro guy friends and girls and I'm uh, wondering what they're going to think of this and I have a suspicion that at first they're not going to probably like this idea but I think that with all electric vehicles and all the things that are going to end up being electric probably all of our cars eventually will be that as long as they perform very very well like this one will um, likely will then I don't think the uh, it's going to be that hard for people to switch over and start to appreciate this new type of car as long as they perform and are extremely fast and quick, uh, you know, like we know that they can be. Now, another part of that rumor is that this Camaro may be kind of a crossover, uh, much the same way that the uh, the Mustang Mach-E Mustang thing is going to be, the Ford Mustang Mach-E, for pardon my uh, mumble there, but uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, there's going to be some very high performance versions of that as well. Maybe the Camaro is going to try to compete with that directly by doing kind of a crossover, or is it going to be your traditional, you know, two plus two, uh, sports car Camaro EV we'll have to see um, they're hinting at it they're doing a good job of hinting at it they're kind of taking a page out of uh, Mopar out of uh, FCA Dodge's uh, a book as far as uh, little teases here and there to get you thinking and to kind of get it in the news and get people talking about it so I think they're doing a good job uh, you know showing these little silhouettes and little hints of things here and there that may be coming in the future. It's keeping people talking about uh, GM and especially about Camaro. I think most people, you know, most enthusiast type people, you know, who are into, you know, the Camaros, Mustangs, um, Challengers, Chargers, that's all that kind of stuff. I think most of us probably hope it's not a crossover. I have nothing against the Ford uh, Mach-E Mustang. I, I, I think it's a cool car. I think it's a very fast car, obviously, from all the all indications, it's gonna be really, really cool and a really great EV vehicle. I just wish that they had kind of left the Mustang name off of it. Um, I think that was a mistake. We'll see. I don't know if it'll be a mistake sales-wise. I just think, from a tradition standpoint, I think it's a mistake. I don't think they should have done it. Uh, Mach-E would have per per would have gotten the point across because we all know about the, you know, the Mustang using the Mach word before and the you know Mach one and all that stuff. Um, so I think they would have gotten the point across that it's Mustang related without actually having to use the name Mustang on it. But we shall see if that's a success or not. Um, you know, that, that still remains to be seen, but it definitely I think it's going to be a good car. Now, General Motors recently uh, put out a statement um, about their EV vehicles and their new battery programs and all that. And uh, they are indicating that eventually GM is going to become an all-electric vehicle um, company. Now, that, that may be uh, true for all of the current vehicle companies because uh, they may be legislated into that. And some of them may just go ahead and do it anyway. Uh, but we shall see. But let me read that uh, 
I'll read that little uh, statement or quote or whatever you want to call it from GM. Let me put my old man glasses on so I can make sure I'm seeing this all really good so I can read it to you guys, but here we go. Okay, this is a tweet actually from General Motors. It says, our all new modular platform and Ultium batteries will be the heartbeat of our all electric future. Now, I'm not sure exactly what that means. Does that mean the whole company will go all electric or are they just talking about that these batteries will be the heartbeat of their all electric cars that are going to be uh, alongside their regular cars? And then it goes on to say these will be powering electric vehicles in every segment to meet the needs of every person. So you can take that, uh, you can take that how you want. Um, it sounds a little bit like maybe they're going all electric or maybe they're just referring to this. These are the batteries and the thing they're currently working on is going to power all of their electric cars in the future. Or are they saying all their cars are going to be electric in the future and how soon? We don't know. And we know that, uh, you know, FCA basically merged with a bunch of other companies now. So they are probably looking to go some EV in the future or some, uh, you know, partially electric stuff in the future very soon. That's probably what the reason why they're trying to hook up with all these other companies. So we have that to look forward to as Mopar owners and enthusiasts. Ford's already well in the game with EV. Obviously, Tesla's kind of leading the pack right now as far as, uh, you know, really, really being into the EV thing. But all the other companies are getting into this, guys. And if you uh, haven't been paying attention or if you're not um, up on, like, the, the automotive news of the world, some of us just are, you know, more into that than others. Some of us just look at the current cars and think which ones are cool and the past cars and all that. But if you look at what they're talking about for the future, when you watch all the automotive press and uh, the, the big wigs at all the automotive companies, um, everybody's talking about EV and it's coming. And uh, I just hope that the performance is there. I know it will be. I think it already is. So there's no reason why these cars can't be way faster than the current cars that we all love now. The, there's going to be that factor of uh, not that cool sound from the exhaust and all that stuff. Um, that's probably going to be gone, obviously. But, uh, you know, at least the performance looks like it's going to be there. So at least we have that to look forward to. Um, it's a very interesting time for cars right now. I think we're in a really good time but in a time that's about to change real quick and go in a different direction, which may also be really good, but uh, we shall see. So what do you guys think about all this EV stuff, guys? And uh, what do you think about Camaro possibly going to an all-electric vehicle for all of the Camaros? We'll see. Thanks, guys. Joey66. Enjoy the video. I enjoyed making it for you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And boy, have my views been down lately. They are really in the tank. Unbelievable. But uh, it's kind of crazy, actually. But anyway... Thanks for those of you who are supporting the channel, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up down there. That'll help a lot. Uh, maybe that'll get the uh, algorithm to pick up some of my videos a little bit and suggest them to people because apparently I am way out of the loop right now because my my uh, my views are down like 90% uh, from what they were just not very long ago. So it's kind of crazy. But uh, thanks a lot, guys. Joy66, I'm out of here.